One person was killed and dozens injured when an 83-year-old steam pipe exploded in midtown Manhattan, sending geysers of mud and steam streaming into the air during the busy evening rush hour. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg said there was no indication the blast was linked to terrorism. There is no reason to believe whatsoever that this is anything other than a failure of our infrastructure. There is no reason whatsoever to believe that there is anything involved with terrorism or criminality. Witnesses say said the ground shook when the pipe gave way. I saw one person that ran down. She had, she had, a, she had a, a mild head injury, so I ran down to the building, and I grabbed her, and I brought her over to 30, 41st and Park. And I went back, and I was helping the people come out of the building. Then all the windows started breaking around me, and the rubble started coming down. But whatever it was, there was smoke, but there was also steam, a mountain, the loudest damn thing I ever heard in my life. The explosion left a five-meter-wide crater in one of the city's most heavily traveled avenues. Officials say about 20 people were injured, including several in critical condition. Pedestrians were evacuated from the area amid fears that the explosion might have spewed toxic asbestos. Authorities closed a large area of Midtown to traffic until air quality tests could be completed. The explosion took place near 42nd Street on the city's east side, not far from the landmark Chrysler Building.